now this one might be a bit triggering i hope i don't offend anyone hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking this video if you're new here and if you're not thank you so much for returning so this week's video is going to be a little bit different it's still related to business but i wanted to talk about eight ways that you need to professionalize your small instagram business now if you don't know i have a press on nail business on instagram and i have found these eight tips very helpful in helping me professionalize my business making it feel a bit more real making it feel like you know i'm going to work i'm working for myself so obviously this video is mainly towards small instagram businesses but of course if you have one if you don't if you're thinking of starting one whatever size it may be you may still find these tips helpful if you do find them helpful please do let me know let me know if you implement them or just overall let me know what you think if you have any more ideas to add on to this let's help each other out so yeah i'm not going to talk too much guys let's get straight into the video okay number one have a business email address if you set up your instagram accounts as a business instagram account you will have the option of adding in contact information such as a mobile number or an email my email is patternpaints at gmail.com but of course you can use i don't know yahoo outlook whatever you prefer to use get a business email address it's way more professional like if an influencer wants to contact you if a brand wants to work with you they have a way to directly contact you in a formal professional manner number two have consistent branding you need to expand your branding outside of just your logo so you may have like a pink logo and then the rest of your instagram feed is like green blue red multicolored rainbows but like obviously if that's your brand then that's fine but make sure it's consistent make sure it actually stands for your brand you need to have a recognizable theme this theme could come from the way you take your pictures a color theme um the way you write things your text size your text fonts anything that creates an overall vibe that stands for your brand so that we immediately know that this is you every post that you make should be able to stand for itself so i should just look at one post of yours and know yes this is this person's brand or this is so and so's brand when you're consistent with your brand people will start to gain an understanding with who you are what you're about and find ways to relate to you number three clean up your bio do some housekeeping so whenever someone comes to your page you are working with seconds okay it could take seconds for them to either click off or stay on your page so in your bio the least you could do is have the first sentence say everything about what you're about about what you're about about what you're about guys so for instance my bio used to just say pattern paints but i changed it to pattern paints press on nails so one it's easily searchable but two as soon as someone comes onto my page they know that my brand is pattern paints and i sell press on nails if i did i don't know home renovations home designs i could be pattern paints home designs so a potential customer knows exactly what i'm about it's all about making the first thing they read say it all it needs to be straight to the point presentable professional and make sure you also have a link to whatever it is you're offering um, it could be a link to your website, it could be a link to like a download link depending on what kind of business you are, a mailing list, whatever it may be. Make sure they have direct access to whatever it is that your business is offering. Number four. Ooh, now this one might be a bit triggering. I hope I don't offend anyone, but stop DM to order. Stop DM for prices. It is not very professional now don't get me wrong i totally understand that not everyone may be at a place where they can afford to um, invest into a website but there are free selling platforms that you could use so for example there's etsy there's depop if you have like clothes there's um vinted there's so many free selling platforms that you can use and you can link that in your bio rather than having DM for order or DM for prices. And the thing with DM for prices is that you could actually be losing customers because someone could genuinely take an interest in your products and want to find out how much it costs and then they see DM for price and it's quite off-putting because maybe they don't want to um, take out the energy to DM you. It's kind of like you have to put yourself in the mind of a customer. Like if you yourself were to go to a page, a brand new small business and you, you see what they have to offer and you like it, would you really trust having to DM for price or DM for order? Like if they had a 
a website or a reputable selling platform you would be way more likely to purchase through that site rather than having to dm so having some sort of website or selling platform to link in your bio is so important for building trust and also i will stress i'm not completely writing off dms they can be so important i use dms myself people would dm me for custom orders and i'm more than happy to do that on there but in terms of my transactions i don't do any transactions via dm i only do transactions via my etsy or email i'll send them an invoice or i will use my website and if you do want to invest in a website they can actually be quite affordable i made my website on wix and then i got a domain from godaddy they were both on discount i think i paid like one pound for a domain on godaddy.com which is quite heavily discounted for a full year and then i made my website on wix i found that to be the most affordable website option if there are more affordable options out there that i'm not aware of then please do let me know educate me but i know a lot of people prefer shopify or woocommerce or yeah that's all i really know okay oh, yeah. number five hide your hashtags so whenever you um make a feed post and you have a caption don't just leave a bunch of hashtags underneath your captions your followers will see that it will not be appealing it will not be very attractive and it just looks a little bit like spam so hide your hashtags in a separate comment underneath your post it makes it look a bit more cleaner more professional more put together and i actually only just learned this like literally this week that you can actually put hashtags in your story and you can hide them and it can be so helpful in terms of exposure but yeah you can hide hashtags in your story just make the um the color of the words the same as the background and then make it smaller and hide it in a corner or something by the way guys if you are enjoying this video or you're finding it helpful so far please do leave me a like a comment a share a subscribe here and there it really helps me out and of course it will help this video reach other people if you find it helpful maybe someone else will too Number six, develop transparent formal communication. That was a bit of a mouthful. So what I mean by this is be professional but relatable in the way you communicate. It's so important and so helpful for both you and whoever you're communicating to to be completely transparent. Don't sugarcoat things. Be professional but relatable in the way you communicate with your audience. It avoids misunderstandings. It avoids problems. It avoids miscommunication it creates an overall positive and professional experience for both you and your customer so for example for me whether it's in dm or email i have a formal response ready in my notes app so if someone is asking for a custom order i don't go back and forth with mundane one word replies like what size what design what shape what color no i have a formal response that i give out it states everything that i need from them it thanks them for their interest it explains how they would pay so think about yourself if you are buying from a small business do you really want to be going back and forth with oh i need this i need that i need this like eventually you would lose interest it does get tiring going back and forth with someone over small little things here and there about their order so it makes it so much easier to just have one formal response detailing everything that you need making it clear and transparent how do you want a business to respond to you that's the way you should be responding to other customers okay number seven have good customer service i think i've already mentioned this in one of my previous videos but good customer service goes a long way you cannot be letting your emotions get the better of you in business you need to separate yourself from the business i cannot stress this enough you have to think professionally think like the business owner that you are so if a customer is in the wrong or they misunderstood something or they might come off a bit rude don't take that as a personal attack to you Think of ways that you can best um, mediate the situation. Make sure you convey to them that you're trying your best to accommodate them as much as you can. Make them feel valued because at the end of the day, whether good or bad, like this customer has taken the time out of their day that they didn't have to, to invest in your business, to invest in you. They've seen your value. So appreciate that. Try your best to help them. If something is wrong, do your best to fix it. You might even see people return to you just based off of your good customer service. Like it leaves a lasting impression. Make sure every impression that you leave or every note that you leave on is a good one for your brand. Oh, and make sure your response times are on point. If you see a message, an email, a 
dm respond to it as soon as possible don't have people waiting for one or two days to get a response they will lose interest and of course just have good manners say thank you say please like thank someone for taking their time out to maybe ask about a product okay number eight have business goals and strategies have strategies to achieve those goals there is no successful business out there that doesn't have goals and strategies to achieve those goals now as a small business i very well know that things can be so slow moving at times and you lose motivation things are just not moving at a pace that you would like them to but it is so important to have goals at least when you set goals and ways to achieve them you have something to constantly work towards no matter how small when you achieve those goals it goes a long way in contributing to your business journey no matter how small of a following your business may have now trust and believe people are still watching think about whenever you scroll through instagram it's not every single post that you're gonna stop like comment share whatever but you are still watching you're still very aware that's the same thing for your business. People are still watching whether you realize it or not. If you're not taking your business seriously, why should you expect anyone else to take your business seriously too? Now, when it comes to business goals and business strategies, I find it so helpful to follow business strategy pages. There's pages on Instagram dedicated to helping small businesses. So my top three favorites on Instagram are Told by Nick, Her Money Bag, um, The Boss Babe, yeah i'll i'll link them below or i'll try and put a screenshot up but yeah i love those pages they have completely transformed the way i think about my business every day i go on even if i'm not posting like i'll just go on just to read what they have to say read what tips and tricks they have to give like it's so helpful because they are actually experts in their field they know about business business growth business strategies and Personally, I know a little bit about business, but they take it up a whole new level. I would 100% recommend that you follow business strategy pages. They will keep you motivated. They will help you set goals. They will help you um, have a strategic focus for your business. And overall, being consistent with your business, showing up regularly with good quality content will go a long way in showing how professional you are and how seriously people take your business. So those were my eight ways to help professionalize your small Instagram business. I really hope it was helpful. Of course, if you have any more points to add to this, then please do comment below. Um, yeah, it will help others. It will help me. I would love to learn from you. If you do actually implement these, then do let me know how you get along. I'd be very interested to know. As always, if you do have a small Instagram business, I wish you all the best with it. And I hope this video helped. Thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye.